Hi, I'm Gene Cavassas. I'm going to show you how to build this bottle opener and finish it off to look like an aged out industrial steampunk style bottle opener. So stay tuned. So I'm going to start out with the basic design and I had some rough sketches that I had been working on so I'm going to translate those over to the final size. So using a straight edge and laying out the basic size. I'm going to use a small drawing compass to uh, create those circle patterns. And just kind of work this till the designs where I want it to be. And it's approximately 16 inches in length. Using some quarter inch MDF panels. I'm going to measure this out and cut the side pieces out. This will help me get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and build two of these bottle openers and one will be a different painted differently and that will be for a different video. Using the bandsaw with a, a guide I'm going to go ahead and cut these slots or these slabs and then I'm going to lay them out and I'm going to place these together so using some double stick tape I'm going to set this down and stick the two panels or the three panels together this uh, will help me to be able to just make one cut on the bandsaw and the drill press rather than having to cut them out individually I'll go ahead and set these down together and like I say I'm cutting out four of these but if you're only building one you would only need to cut two of these out. Now I'm going to take my pattern that I cut out and I'm going to use some Elmer spray glue and I'll put a link in the description down below to all these products but I'm going to spray glue that down and apply that to the side of the uh, the wood that I'm going to cut. I'm also going to use my drill press and I'm going to pre-drill out all the inside circle holes and I'm going to use forcer bits and uh, that really speeds up the process before having to come back and cut it all out with the bandsaw. This is something you're going to really want to take your time with to get a smooth, clean cut. This MDF cuts really easy. I also picked up a 2x2 two by, two by half inch thick MDF and there I'm going to cut the pieces that fit the back. I picked up some a couple of plastic tubs from the hardware store. You could use just about any kind of a tub. To, for, for the bottle caps to fall into. So cutting that back piece and then I'm also going to cut a piece that will be the bottom of the shelf that holds the bottle caps. Removing the double stick tape I'm going to measure out where I want everything to be uh, located and I want to put a decorative base on it so I borrowed my wife's uh, one of her pans to uh, use as a template for the curve. I use that same uh, curve on the top and the bottom of the backs. And now using some standard wood glue, I'm going to uh, go ahead and glue the sides on. Apply your glue. Don't be, uh, don't be shy with it because you're going to want to make sure you get good adherence. I'm going to just kind of smooth it out with my finger. And then also put some down on the side and the back that's going to support that bottom shelf that the... Uh, the bottle caps will fit into. Well, 
wipe off any excess. And then I'll do the same with this side. Once I have that kind of glued up, I'm going to go ahead and use some clamps and I'm going to put a clamp on the side to hold that into place until I can cut the front piece for this. And of course you'll want to glue that up as well. And I'm going to hold that down with a, another clamp as well. You can never have enough clamps in your shop. Now using the, uh, the bottle opener, the cast iron bottle opener as a template, I'm going to kind of draw a shape or a little bit of a curve to make another piece that will fit up at the top of the bottle opener. Sand that up a little bit, glue it, set that into place, and then I'm going to put a clamp on that as well. And I'm going to let that set up and dry overnight. Looks like it's all dried up and uh, put together well. I think we're going to be ready to uh, start putting some more of the decorative pieces on. I'm going to take and clean up the sides a little bit using the belt sander. You could do this with a block sander and hand sander as well, but I'm going to save a little time and just use the belt sander to, to bring that down clean. I'm also going to use the disc part of the sander to smooth out the top and the bottom of this. Now using basic measurements, I'm going to come back and I'm going to cut some decorative wood to go around the front and the sides. So setting my uh, guide on the bandsaw, and always recommend you wear ear protection and eye protection. I'm going to go ahead and cut the strips that will go around the side of the bottle opener, along with a half inch strip for the front to give it a little more depth. Yeah, that's going to work. Get everything glued up and just set it up into place. And once again I'm going to use some smaller clamps to help hold those into place while they dry. Finish this with the piece on the front. And with that, because of how it's located, I'm just going to use a can of paint to help hold that in place until everything dries. This looks good. We'll give it a little bit of sanding, smooth it out, and make sure that that's ready to go. I'm going to use some 180 sandpaper and just kind of go over and make sure that all my seams are smooth and that you can't really see the uh, the seams at all they just move right in 
using some spray primer, I'm going to lay a coat of white primer on it. And then come back up to that primer dried and just give it a real light sanding to knock off any overspray or any uh, dust or anything else that's on. I'll wipe that down and come back and give it a couple of coats of silver paint. Okay, now I'm going to start putting a few more features onto this that's going to give me that steampunk look. And I'm going to use some nails that are going to give it a a copper or a brass look. I doubt they're actually brass, but they have that nice brass finish look to them. And I bought some clips, and these are going to go decorative and just sit on the corners. And that. And that. And I may even do it down here, just because I have, just for decoration. One of the things I'm going to want to really make sure that I do is not put nails or, or anything that go past the, the wall there. Okay, now, that's looking, that's looking kind of the way I'm, I'm hoping for it. I'm going to use some side cutters here and trim the length of those nails down so they're not as long so that I can tap those in and look like more like metal rivets. I'm going to add some down the sides in this quarter inch. I'm going to pre-drill these as I did even on the others, but be careful on drilling these because you don't have a lot of room for forgiveness. Okay, I like that. I think that turned out pretty cool. Now, let's look at if we're going to mount this is going to need to sit roughly like that. Once I've marked that, I'm going to go ahead and drill some more rivet holes across the top. And also, I'll do it across the bottom as well. Okay, so now we're going to start to put a wash on this and just kind of make it look more antique and, and wear on it. So I'm going to use some acrylic, water-based acrylic paint, and I'm just going to add some of this down in this cup. And it's not going to take much because what you're basically going to do is create a stain with it. foam brush and I cut down the width of it to use it just by hand and it's easy to help apply this paint which like I say the paints thin out quite a bit so it's almost like applying a black or dark stain you just want to make sure you get it mostly up around the edges you're covering everything but just want to get it to where it's getting up against the crevices because what you're going to do is after you've kind of rubbed some of that on you're going to come back with a piece of cotton cloth and just kind of wipe it off or dab it off so it just starts giving it kind of that aged feel
actually put some unthinned paint on there too so I could get that up around some of these edges on the front of the the bottle opener And once again, taking that same cloth, just kind of dabbing your paint back off of it. I even took a small brush and, and put a little, another coat around the very edging of things so that I can come back and dab that, but to make sure that it's got kind of a showing off some of the, the edging in there. Flip it over on its side, and I'm going to do the same thing on the, both sides. And there we have that. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Now I'm going to use a what's called a water slide decal process. And I've done another video on this. And besides putting a link below to the materials, I'm going to put a link up in the top corner here of a video on how to produce and install the water slide decals. Once that's in place, I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to come back and remove the, uh, the bottle opener itself, because I've decided I want to throw a little more of like some copper color into this. So I painted the top part and I, with my thumb just kind of wiped off the, the nail heads. I'll place the the hanger or the uh, bottle opener back on and then I also painted around the front and sides of this as well. This kind of gives it a combination of, of copper and steel look to it and I think that gives it a, a nice look and feel. I'm going to set it down now and put a coat of clear on it after this is all dried. I'm using a water base clear and I picked this up for another project. It dries to kind of a low sheen but it works fine on this. So there we have it. Now we drop the tray down into it and we're ready to start opening the box. So most of your, your normal installation should be able to put like a sheetrock screw or some kind of a wood screw on the bottom and just even on the top of one of these. But on this one, because I needed to anchor it through that sheet metal front, I riveted it underneath this and in this spot down here. It still works fine and it still gives me the cup that will hold the, uh, the bottles when you open it. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please give them to me in the comment section down below and I'll try to get back with you. Uh, consider subscribing and until next time, I'll see you soon.